Okay, what do you think of this quote? He has the right to criticize who has the heart to help. This is a very famous quote. Does anybody know who said it? One of my favorite, favorite figures in, in um, history, Abraham Lincoln said that. He said a lot of things actually, very profound things. He has the right to criticize who has the heart to help. He might have said, he, ha he who has the heart has the right to criticize or something like that, but I believe it is just what I said at the beginning. You know, criticism is a really um, interesting topic. It's usually very unbalanced. When you're talking about critics in this field, for example, or in any field, we were just talking earlier about sports and whatnot, you know, every time a guy looks like a hero on a baseball or a football team, they make him, you know, they put him up on a pedestal. The minute he makes a mistake, the minute he strikes out or what have you, he's the goat. In the old days, you know, the, the baseball writers used to call them goats. You're either the hero or the goat. The goat or the hero. Well, why is that? I think it's because as human beings, we have very little tolerance. Uh, our tolerance level is like zero. I remember one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. Again, whether you're, you're a believer or not, it doesn't matter, I happen to be, but when I heard, saw The Passion of the Christ, the Mel Gibson movie, I was struck immediately with the word tolerance. Just unbelievable tolerance. Well, I'm one of the worst offenders. I'm, I'm pretty impatient. I have an excitable temperament and I'm not very tolerant. I like to think of myself as a tolerant person and I really work at it. I really do. I constantly am working on it. But tolerance is a huge stumbling block, stumbling block for all of us. As artists, it's a huge, gigantic stumbling block because we're, in my case, years ago, because I no longer play, would be so preoccupied with practicing and traveling and picking out the right clothes and being at your best and everything is at its, you know, the zenith level. Everything is super, super high strung, like a thoroughbred that you have no tolerance for anyone around you or anything happening. No, there's zero tolerance for last minute stuff. Oh, you know, he fell over there or he tripped over there or the, the drink, the coffee spilled or not, you just fly, you know, people just fly off the handle. Well, Lincoln, I think, touches on something that very few people touch on and he actually had a great deal of tolerance. He was a very humble man, as we all know. He had humble beginnings. I've actually visited the lean-to shed, basically, cabin that he grew up in and uh, or was born in in Knob Creek, Kentucky. I drove my little Mazda RX-7 down there one day from Ann Arbor and I was just totally humbled. I couldn't believe what he was born into. Such incredible poverty, such pain. What an existence and he would walk, what, 10 miles a day or something to, to just get a book from a library. I don't know all the details, but I remember you know, reading about that. The tolerance that that man must have had for everyone who walked into the, to the Oval Office or the White House, and as a matter of fact, he opened it up to just about any Joe Blow could walk into the White House and you know, uh, petition him. Uh, he's taught me a lot, obviously, I never met him, but just his words, all of the documents that he wrote, all of the speeches, his declarations and his, uh, his words just speak from the heart. And this above all, this statement, he has the right to criticize who has the heart to help has just stuck with me for years. I was always a student, as I've stated, of government and history. I'm not the best student of government and history, but I consider myself always learning and uh, I love the law. It's interesting to me the way lawyers work and all the little intricacies. But 
I think we can learn a lot from this. Never, and what I've learned, like I said, this vlog and, or blog is about learning, uh, in my case, learning through my experiences and passing them on to uh, anyone that's willing to hear because I think of myself more as an artist advocate now than an artist. But the thing to learn here is never say anything critical unless you have a solution to what you're criticizing. Like, if you're gonna criticize another fellow musician, offer them some help. You know, say, you know, I, I kind of worked on that passage and, you know, this is what I came up with. Or even if it's a violinist and you're not a violinist, you say, you know, try this or try that when you're coaching someone in chamber music, for those of you who coach chamber music. Or if you're in sports, don't just yell and scream at people. Or in politics, for that matter. If you've got a criticism, offer some way out for the other person. Say, hey, you know, here's a way to think about it. Here's a way to do it. This is what I've learned. Pass it on. That's all I really wanted to say.